This is a dry distillation mat. We're going to cook the bark and then seep the oil from it. And as the bark drips down in the paint can, there's a hole in the bottom of the paint can, and the oil will come down and drip into this can. <laughs> There's a little can at the bottom, a metal can. This is kind of a you know, kind of modern day of doing it. In the old days, they used to use uh, clay pots, and they would use clay pots to bake it, and the oil would be at the bottom. In fact, some of the clay pots would be shaped like a like a kind of wedge type of thing, like a cone, and they would take the charcoal out, and then it would be at the bottom, right? No. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to have the little can there, and then we're going to uh, when Santa comes with the paint can. We're going to poke a hole in the bottom of the paint can and then uh, stuff it full of birch bark and then push down top, put some more sand over it so to hold it and then we build a fire around it. And we keep that fire going for about three hours. We're going to take it apart and everything and, and then take the little can out and then uh, we're going to go take it inside and we're going to make soap out of it. Yeah. And that's the medicine in there, the birch bark oil. Masquiomi. When, when we're looking at uh, muskiomi, and muskiomi is the oil that we're going to get from the musky. You know, musky is the bark that, okay, musky, that you said, muskiomi. Make sure the holes are above there? Yes. Yeah. Okay, sure? That's fine. Well, we should have put the cover on after. <laughs> that is good. That's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, now put the sand around. Okay, get some sand. Nobody takes it, man. <laughs> That's what uh, she used to do these exercises. Okay. She had two evil sisters, and they were horrible, and they used to take things from the fire and just poke her, and make scars all over her body, eh? And uh, just poke her face, like, you know, just kind of, you know, picking on her all the time. So anyway, I guess, like, uh, there was uh, there were some guys coming to the village, and there was one of them uh, that was uh, looking for a wife and stuff, so they were just kind of... So, yeah, a visible hunter was coming, and I guess... Uh, um, 
So anyway, it made the sisters even pick on her even more, eh? They wanted to make her uglier. So they kept on taking the things from the fire, burning her and scratching her up again. So anyway, she went off into the woods. She says, oh, screw this, I'm getting out of here. So uh, she, she went off through the woods and uh, she, you know, she was getting cold, right? So she's, and so she did, decided to get some birch bark like this. And she made herself an outfit. So she made a dress out of it. She made some leggings and she made some for her arms, some for her hair and stuff. And then, uh, so she stayed there for a while. And then finally, then uh, she decided to come out. You know, she, she was feeling better. She came out and I guess uh, when she came out, all of her scars were gone. So anyway, the invisible hunter checked her out. He was like, oh, she's gorgeous. She's absolutely beautiful. So I guess um, the birch bark healed up all of her scars and stuff, made it all better. And then they got together and they lived happily ever after. Made a bunch of children. Hey, hey. 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 Now the big game is on. <laughs> the big game is on now. The that's, uh -oh. on. that's the commercial before the game. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra, do you have one of those jars? No, it's all clean, is it? It's clean, very clean, all brand right, new one. Good. Uh, 
um, we are buying a separator. Uh, we, actually, Rod said you can have to pick one up before we left, but it doesn't you know what. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait. Let's jet one and empty one. No, 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 no. It's resetting first. Okay, so it's on zero. So this is 154 grams. Now the full, not the full bottle, but the other one is 200 grams. 46, 46 grams. grams. 46. 46. The point in which it starts killing the bacteria mm -hmm. is at 0.2 percent, and the maximum amount is 2 percent. He said anything more than that doesn't All matter doesn't amount to any more effectiveness, right? Oh, okay. But what we were putting in the other one was 5% oil. What we had done previously is we separated the oil in the water. In the last soaps we made, um, did we bring any soaps? I didn't see any. I don't think so. No, okay. So um, we uh, separated, just used the oil and did a 3.5% and still that was too much in a way. And so the next batch, we added the water back. The water has oil in it still, no matter how much you separate, there's still the oil compounds in it. And uh, so if we figured that the last batch of soap was closer to 5% because we've added the oil water into it instead of using uh, uh, ice water. So we're going to try and uh, that's little bit, we'll be going back to Raj and he's going to test it again. Um, and he always says documented what exactly what you guys do there's because there's something we're doing that makes the oil more effective than if it was done in the laboratory. <laughs> and We're doing it the minimum way. Okay. Yeah, but according to scientists, that's you know, you know, scientists they don't like the spiritual aspect of it. That there's mm -hmm. always supposed yeah. that's that couldn't be it. Uh, but at the end of the day, we tell them uh, we don't know what it is, but no. we know one thing: it works. And I told Raj and the others, we're only focusing one area right now. You know. But if you think about it, the story that I told you about my my aunt breaking out and could not nurse her child, that was, you know, that we were using it in 1910, 1920s. The knowledge of it was known back at the turn of the century, almost 25 years before the discovery of penicillin. So, illness, we as illness people, we knew about antibacterial uh, antibiotics long before penicillin was discovered. So now what we're going to do, we're going to make a cream and a soap. You use the creams at night, spread it on and you cover yourself. And then you use the soap when you wash up in the morning, like right. when you normally take a shower, right? And then uh, that's, it treats eczema and it treats psoriasis, but that's not cured. It kills the bacteria. You know, and that promotes faster healing. There's two types. There's sodium hydroxylate and potassium. So this one is what? Pure lyle crystals. That's all it says, right? Treatment. Then sodium hydroxide. That's fine. Oh, okay. okay. So it's, it's the sodium hydroxide, which is better for using soap. The potassium hydroxide, which is also lyle, is, is more useful in shampoos and soft soaps. Okay. Wait, wait this up. Okay, now it's zero. Mm -hmm. So if you want to pour in until you get 337 grams. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, three twenty-two, three twenty-two, a little bit more. We need three thirty-seven. Thirty, three thirty, three thirty-two, <laughs> thirty-four, thirty-five. Count a few. Thirty-seven. Hey, look at that, right on the dot. <laughs> okay. We need two thousand three hundred and sixty-three grams of oil. Oil. Olive oil. A couple someone, of oils here. Someone get olive oil. Two and a third. Right? Three, 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 so three. if you put uh, three hundred and sixty-three mm -hmm. grams and then pour the rest, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So we need three hundred and sixty-three grams. Look, 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 look. This is extra virgin, isn't it? That is a virgin. <laughs> and it's that's the good stuff. 340, 350, 355, 360, 363. 62. 62, 362. Doing a little dab? Yeah, one more little dab. Oh, that stuff. <laughs> okay, there you go. 491. 486, okay, 486. 
Mm -hmm. Take that, okay. And so now the water, we're going to add 300 grams of water to this. Make it to 787. This feels like a Martha Stewart cooking. Yeah, stuff. I love it. Okay. <laughs> now, we have to make sure we know what temperature the olive oil is. We may have to zap it a little bit. Is this a... Uh, I can't see, I've got my glasses here. Okay, I need to, you want to uh, measure the temperature of the olive oil? Yeah, that should be good. And three, 104, 106, yeah. 107, yeah. 108, 109, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, <laughs> okay, so what we do is we pour this into here and chemical reaction. And then we zap it with this here. Now, when you do this, you know, go low. in, don't turn it on right away. Kind of go a little bit so to get the bubbles out, the layer, and then press down and keep it full. Like that. As you can see, it's now mixing up. Now it's becoming glistening. Mm. Takes about a couple minutes for it to do that, right? So it's becoming soap. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, there comes. Picking up, eh? Yeah. Okay. It's starting to go. Closer. Yeah. The discoloration goes, or is it all for me? If you can move the discoloration, let's see. Okay. So, I'll just once. This is what you do to check. So you lift it up and you move it like that, and it's okay. starting to, it's just a little bit more. See? Hmm. It just needs a little bit more. It doesn't stay on the top and then stay on yeah, the top. You so can see a couple of them stay on the Okay, here, keep going for another two minutes. Oh yeah, we got trace now. Okay, wait, you keep doing that trace. Okay, no, no, she wants to be wants to get a picture. Yeah, see, now it's, you can see the trace. Yes. It's fairly safe now because it mostly turned into glycerin, so the lot, but there could be still be active lye in there. Okay. So now, at this point, we add the oil. Okay. All right. I was not into it yet. Now we liquefy it a little bit more. Six. Six. Yes. Yeah. 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 We tend to use these smaller ones because uh, they, make, they make smaller soap. So now, what we need to do is we need to pour it into these molds. Oh, we need a better thing than that. Okay, needs another spoon. Oh wow, they're really they're much lighter. Yeah, because we had less oil. Yeah. So we're gonna pop those out tomorrow, eh? Yeah. Yeah. This time. Yeah. Underneath the other candle, the whole end of it. So we're gonna have to more. Okay. Seven and four. There you go. The chula pack, pack with feta. Oh wow! Making muffins, eh? Nice. Little cakes. Little cakes. Birthday cakes. Yeah. 36 cakes of soap oh will have to That's a lot of soap. Theoretically, you can use them tomorrow, but 
the sister they not cry, they could crumble. No, they won't no? crumble. No. Yeah, They'll just go into bloop, bush. Oh, mush. So yeah. the more longer you cure them, which is really drying them, yeah, six so to eight the weeks, the tree, then they'll get hardened and they'll actually be like soup. So you're at our zone. Well, it's in darkness, the first one. Oh, yeah. Darkness. Yeah. 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 So clearly, go ahead and pop those open. And Janine, do these ones. Ooh. You can talk while you're doing that, you know? Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Feels kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Feels kind of cool. The soap smells really good. And we're going to use these little shavers at the moment. Yeah. There, because no, it's a medicine that shouldn't be wasted. <laughs> And every week after this, the, shape, the soap should actually be flipped over. It's called flipping the soap. We've been flipping soap for weeks now. Flipping for days. Flipping for days. Yeah. So it was today, Sunday. You guys usually come in on um, Monday, so maybe you're best... Do they feel cool? Do they feel cool? Do you like how they smell? Yeah, that way on the next Monday. Yeah, this is definitely lighter than the.